Okay, so let's talk about Chainsaw Man, and this is going to be our introduction to anime on this channel. I think I've talked about some anime in the past before, but we're really going to start talking more about anime as well for all of you anime lovers out there. And what a better way to start off than with Chainsaw Man, one of the most highly anticipated animes out there, just in time for spooky season as well, because this is a very bloody, gory anime indeed, just from that first episode if you've watched it. So before we get any further, if you're new to the channel, maybe you might be because I'm the the first time I'm talking about anime on here for a while definitely subscribe to the channel we just hit 25k we are doing a giveaway right now so if you want to enter that giveaway you have to be subscribed and let me know in the comments below you want to enter that go to the giveaway video that I have on the channel to know how to get more entries and that will close on the 29th so make sure you're getting your entries in hit that notification bell to know when videos drop but let's talk about this new series which we're going to be covering weekly now as well so Chainsaw Man basically follows a young man Denji who has to repay his father's debt which is a ton of money to the, the um gang that his dad was involved with this organized crime organization organized crime organization but we, he basically has to pay back all of this money and he is definitely feeling the how am i even going to pay all this money before like because they want it like the next day and they're like we're going to kill you if you don't and so while he's trying to figure all of this out he meets pochita which is a chainsaw pet which is a demon this uh, whole series deals with demons demon hunters and so there's like these demons that come out of people's fears and all of that and he is pretty much like hey you're injured and i can bring you back to life as well because I heard that devils can sort of heal from like life threatening injuries if they take like human blood or whatever, or I'm not sure if it's just blood. By the way, I'm not looking into Chainsaw Man really, the manga and all of that, because I just want to uh, watch the series and just get surprised by it. Maybe after it, then I'll go back and read the manga, but I already started with the anime, so that's how I'm going to move forward with it. So I might not know all of the details, but I did look a little bit in to what happens with like the characters and all of that and a little bit of their background so i'm not going to get much into details with the manga by the way just the anime itself so we pretty much see that pochita accepts this deal and pochita becomes a sort of like uh pet for denji as well but sort of a partner at the same time they go about hunting demons and this is the way that denji is able to repay back the money that his father owed but as well as giving up his kidney and one of his eyes and he's pretty much like just barely surviving and making it through and then one day the whole organization that was trying to get him to repay the debt back is like hey come with us we got a little special something for you and I was already knowing what was gonna happen you take this guy to an empty warehouse and I'm expected to believe that you're gonna have something for him here nah you're about to ambush him and that's exactly what they do turns out the organization actually made a pact with a demon de devil I shouldn't call them demons, devils, and pretty much said, hey, we can give you this demonic power, but you got to be doing something for us too. And so what this zombie devil does is sort of takes over the organization and pretty much just turns them into mindless zombies, which start to attack Denji as well as Pochita, eventually killing both of them, it seems, or putting them right at the cusp of life and death. Eventually, we see that Denji does die and Pochita is still a little bit alive and is able to really regain full control of their body and life once they have some of the blood from Denji slip into their mouth. Because remember, devils can come back from life-threatening injuries if they drink blood. And so we see Pochita remember that Denji one time told them, hey, if I'm ever dying or anything happens to me, hunting devils and all of that, I want you to have my body so you can live again. And this is where Pochita pretty much says, no. We're going to fuse together and I'm going to give you my heart and that way you can live again and I want you to see your dreams come true because of everything you've done as well. And so we see this happen, this fusion of swords and Denji is alive again and it has Pochita right here on his chest and then we see that the zombie devil is like how is this possible and we see that Denji then gets attacked by the horde of zombies that the zombie devil has and we're like okay. Denji's about to be eaten alive, but then you hear the chainsaw and we see that Denji turns into the chainsaw man and just starts slicing and dicing. By the way, some of the most intense um, anime graphic scenes here for sure as we're seeing like bodies flying everywhere, blood splatter, all of that. It is definitely something that I was like, what is going on here? So I haven't really watched an anime since I was watching uh, My Hero Academia like last year and then I took a break from it. But Chainsaw Man really is the one that brought me back and I'm excited to catch up on some of the other animes I want to catch up on. So very much so Chainsaw Man, you brought me back. But 
This very much leads to Denji eventually killing the zombie devil and then we see some other devil hunters arrive here and they're pretty much like, is that a devil or not? But then we see the mysterious girl who we don't know. Of course, if you read the manga and all of that, you know who this girl is. We'll talk about her in a bit. But she's pretty much like, hey, we work for an organization. We pretty much hunt devils and all of that. I can tell that you're not a full devil. You're not possessed by a devil. You're still human. How about you come work for us? We'll get you some food. And of course, Denji was talking about food the whole time and about also wanting to eventually meet a girl and all of this and it seems he's getting both things now and that's how our first episode concludes which was a very good episode in my opinion really has me hooked can't wait for the next episode next week but let's talk about this girl and what follows for denji and the rest of the series so from what I've read, and I don't want to read further because I just want to watch the series and watch it evolve, Makima is also a control devil of sorts and has these abilities to her as well that make her kind of powerful. She can also smell um, certain things and that's the reason she could smell Denji also. And so she basically is working for this organization and pretty much runs it and has these devil hunters that go about hunting devils. And so I think that she pretty much is also controlling Denji at this point, if that's the case. And Denji sort of doesn't really need to be controlled because I feel like he's sort of finding his purpose and all of that and is just trying to fit it wherever he can. And this first episode really showed us that Denji is just somebody who is broken deep down and just wants to sort of find a sort of place to call their own, whether that means they go with Makima or not. They are just going to try and find somewhere. And I think that Makima being that person that first came through him is that way of him saying like, this is my way out. This is my way to the happiness I'm looking for and I'm just going to take it and it sort of feels like Denji has become sort of like Pochita, a devil dog for Makima at this point but we'll see how it evolves throughout the series like I said I'm not reading the manga yet I haven't read any of it I just have read a little bit of Makima and I just don't want to get more spoilers about it I just want to watch the series as it goes but I'm interested in seeing how this is going to evolve in the relationship I do know that Denji is sort of somebody who crushes hard on a lot of the different people in the organization so I'm I'm excited to see this series i think that the first episode ended very good i thought that it definitely had a lot of heart as well more than i was expecting especially with pochita and denji sort of having that fusion as well and i'm excited to see this evolve because i think the animation is great i think the story is good so far and i'm excited to see what comes next so let me know your thoughts and opinions on the latest episode of chainsaw man we will be covering and talking about it here every week so stay tuned we'll be adding some more animes as well as we go so leave some of your favorite animes down below and we'll probably make some videos more on those but we're definitely getting more um, stuff going on the channel so if you want us to check out our movie stuff our TV shows all of that video games as well definitely go to the channel subscribe we do run that giveaway all the way to the end of the month so if you want to enter you got to be subscribed let me know you're subscribed and hit that notification to know when we announce that giveaway winner as well as getting more entries into the giveaway Go check out the giveaway video to know how to do that. But as always, that's going to do it for me. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on Chainsaw Man Episode 1. I'll see you next time. Stay safe. Stay positive.